I'm real excited. I'm real excited. Okay, so I was super excited when I got my first turny gritty back in early March. Been playing it two months. God, you lose track of time in this whole COVID-19 pandemic. Today, like a block away from here right now, because I'm tracking the UPS truck, is Hurdy Gurdy number two. I'm real excited, you guys, and I'm gonna unbox it on camera, because what else do you do during a pandemic when all your roommates are gone and no one's here to help you live stream it? <laughs> you film it! Okay, so hopefully, um, next, within the next 30 minutes, I will have a new Gurdy to show off. I'm really excited to try something new with my hurdy gurdy. Um, yes, I've been training on my workshop medieval one. Um, it's really not that good of a gurdy. It's it's okay for training for a start, but I'm really looking to progress into something bigger and better. And as I save up for something really nice, I wanted something I could train on in between that would make me happy because I just haven't been as happy with my workshop medieval model as much lately. So the challenge. The real challenge with this Gertie is that it's a right-handed orientation Gertie. And as you might have seen in a previous video, I prefer to play lefty. I'm just very comfortable in doing it that way. So we're gonna try righty, see what happens. I think I can do it. It's gonna take some getting used to, you know, it might take a few weeks of brain shifting, but I'm excited. So now we wait. I've been waiting all day for my new Gertie and I'm going crazy. It's almost six o'clock and I'm watching it on the thing and it's like a block away and now it's two blocks away. Where are you bringing me my Gertie? It's here. They just left it at my door and they didn't tell me it was delivered. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go get the Gertie. Let's go get the Gertie. Oh, dear. Wait, that's a giant Amazon box. This is it, right? I was wrong. It's not my Gertie. I thought it was strange that it came in an Amazon box. But it is my amp. Cool. All right. Well, I got real excited for something. Okay. Well. So it turns out UPS did deliver my Gertie. Um, when I went to take out the recycling from the delivery of the amp, I saw a note on my door. They left it downstairs. I just carried this thing up two flights of stairs. So if I'm a little glistening, that's why. Um, I'm gonna make some iced tea now and recover and then we are going to open this thing. Okay, you ready for this? It's insane. And then, okay. Hey, get down, get out there. Let's just say I'm really glad that I do deadlifts at the gym. So, oh boy, can I get a grip? Up two flights of stairs. Oh boy. Um, let me raise center. This is on top of my coffee table. Um, Hurdy Gurdy number two. This Gurdy was made by Radoslav Malish. I hope I got your name right, my friend. Uh, in Poland, he made a set of what he calls big cello like Gurdies. They, uh, it's allegedly electric. Electroacoustic. Um, so now I have the Gertie and I have the amp, but I don't have the cable that connects them yet. I did buy one, it's on the way. So uh, he told me I'm gonna need a screwdriver to open this, so here goes something. And now the part when I put this in Premiere and change it to fast motion. few minutes so I'm gonna pause the video while I work. All right so I decided to actually take the box off the coffee table because I figured it'd be easier to lift up and show on camera uh, from, the, from the floor. So now that I've unscrewed 
the top. Let's toss this aside. And we have packing peanuts. I'm gonna make a big old mess. It's spilling onto my floor and on my shoe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. You could fit a child in this box. Okay. Okay, so, Gertie, wrapped again. Let us love my friend. You did a really good job at packing this. You weren't kidding. Um, now I have a mess of packing peanuts on my floor. All right, so, and uh, he, sent a, he sent a case with it, which is super cool of him. Thank you. Cases are always nice. My, my first Gertie, Leslie Ann, she does not have a case. Um, I'm a little sad about that. So I can't really travel with her safely. Okay. I'm so excited. Y'all. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Just making sure I'm not cutting the bag itself. That would be unfortunate. Okay. I think, I think it's just upside down. Okay, let's hold it up to me. Oh, dude, look, it's the, oh, this makes me so happy. Okay, so I'm excited about some backpack straps because I love to play in my local park. I'm carrying a gurdy. Uh, not the easiest thing to do. Oh, oh, you put my name on the front. Courtney. I know it was just so he would know which one's which, but I still think it's sweet. All right. <laughs> Should I see it on my lap? I kind of want to bring the coffee table back. Give me a sec. All right, here we go. We're going to zip. see what this thing is all about. Here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, holy crap, this thing is huge. Okay, look at this. Look at this. So pretty. Um, so apparently made of spruce and walnut, I believe you said. Oh, interesting. You can see all the way inside. Okay. Okay. This is this is definitely bigger than my first Gertie, but I kind of expected that. Yeah, it's about the size I expected it to be. Wow, nicely padded. This is great. All right, let's oh let's look at the key chest. Let's see. Oh, there's no lock on it. Okay. All these dudes. So, uh, from what the listing says, it has a D string and a G string, which my first Gertie did not have. Um, and then two drones in G and C. So I, I wish there was also a D drone, but I will make do. Um, so he said that he didn't put a head on it in order to save on space. And I kind of understand, like, this thing is... This thing is real guitar size. This is huge. Um, all right, let's take uh, let's take our take it for a spin. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. So, oh boy. So the first interesting thing that I noticed is that with the drones, there's a C and a G. And I'm used to having a lower G and a higher C, but it's not in this case. It's a low C. And then the G is a little bit higher. So here's the C. Okay, it helps it. But it's deep. So it's not my glory. So I can hear a little bit of vibrations and like a little bit of rattling. some deep ears. Then we got the G. Yeah, sorry, I'm not used to this at all. So this is what I'm I've been used to for a melody string. Also this this instrument is real loud. He wasn't kidding. He wasn't kidding. Um so wait, but then there's the melody G. I'm hold off the drum for a second. That's the melody string. I'm used to that being my drone. And then what happened? My drone is my melody. So that's really interesting because I actually really like 
deep, deep tones. Like I played baritone and tuba. I love cello. I have a cello right there, but I don't know how to play it. It's not mine. Um, so I'm actually really excited to play these like deep melodies. Of course, it's also a right-handed orientation. So my brain is like, what are these notes? So let's, uh, let's go chromatically through the G string. Let's hear how it sounds. My fingers are like, where did I go? I don't get it. Forgive my, my lack of experience in playing right-handed. Um, definitely sounds better than my other hurdy-gurdy. Although I do realize like I really have to have confidence in my key presses because if I press a little lightly, I, I can feel that vibration in it versus, versus if I don't press quite hard enough. So I really got to make sure that I'm pressing properly. First of all, the upper register in this song sounds way better than Leslie Ann. Leslie Ann's my green dirty. Um, cool. Let's let's put on the D string. Uh, that's... Um, so I've never played with a D string before. This is another cool thing that I get to learn with this dirty. Let's listen. <laughs> pretty wrong about my last gertie. All right, so I have a lot of practicing to do. Oh boy. Um, this is definitely going to take some orientation, but I'm, I'm excited. It's very different from my first gertie, but I'm, I'm excited to play with it. I, I like it because it's different, because it has that really deep G string, and I love playing darker more like flowing melodic modern pieces so this is this is an adventure all right i'm gonna practice for a bit then i'll play a little bit um and then in a few days i'm waiting for the cable that connects the amp to this because i'm really excited to play with the electric side of it um and so i'll, I'll do some demos of how it sounds in the meanwhile you can go to Vladislav's youtube channel which you can see it up here um, and he has samples of him playing with the amp with, uh, with distortion too, which sounds so badass. I'm really excited to, to try playing it with effects. I think it's gonna be real cool. All right. Well, I'm going to practice. Here goes something. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to record a little bit of music as a preview for you again. I am not used to playing the right-handed orientation. This is really hard for me. So there's gonna be a lot of wrong notes, but I just want you to, to hear how it sounds. So I'm gonna try some Bach. Is that a little Bach? Blue sea drone? Yeah. Let's do both drones. Just, just be adventurous.
so I've had this Gertie for about a day and I'm already aware that it is not the right Gertie for me. It is a really cool badass Gertie. This is a lot of fun and I love how it sounds, but I need some customizations. For one, trying to play right-handed is really difficult for me. Um, I'm trying, I'm practicing, but I'm really much more comfortable with the left-handed orientation. Uh, the second issue I'm having is the length of the key chest because the keys are so spread out, especially in the lower register, that my fingers can't reach as many keys. I have to shift more often. Um, the, the other issue I have with the key chest is that the height of it, so this, oh, I have to lean all the way back. This height from here to here is too long. Oh, I just blew up my camera. Um, it's a little too long, so what's happening is I have to reach all the way around and it's, see how far I have to bend my hand just to reach the keys? Um, so what's happening is it's it's really stretching my wrist here and it stretches my arm up here. So it's, it's not very comfortable. It's actually kind of painful to play, especially when it's all the way out here because like this, this is okay, but this, it starts getting really uncomfortable for my shoulder. I've already contacted Radoslav and we're talking about making a version of this Gertie that's more suitable to my needs. So <laughs> I asked him, can you make a left-handed version of this Gertie? And he said, yes. I said, cool. All right. Can you make a left-handed version of this Gertie with a shorter key chest? Cause this length is making it hard for me to reach all the keys. And he said, yes. I said, okay, can you also make the key chest a couple centimeters shorter because I'm having difficulty reaching around and the keys. And he said, yes. And I said, can you put drone capos on it? And he said, yes. And I said, can you put two pegs for the strap on the crank side instead of one? And he said, yes. And I asked, can you do it in a custom color? And he said, no. And I said, that's okay. If you are interested in hurdy gurdies and want to buy one, there are some really great Facebook groups. Um, there's the hurdy gurdy community, which has a ton of information on gurdies even for beginners, like if you don't want to spend a ton of money, there's some really good recommendations there. Um, there's the North American Hurdy Gurdy player if you want to find people local to jam with. There's also the Hurdy Gurdy Marketplace, which is another Facebook group, and that's a place where people buy and sell Gurdies. That's how I found this one. That's how I got in contact with Maker, and we're going to make a custom one for me next time. I took this Gurdy to the park. I played out under a tree for a while. I cannot do this justice. I do have uh, sample videos of me playing, but honestly, I would not judge a Gertie based on that. I'm going to keep practicing and make some more while I wait for my left-handed version to come in. It's just that like, there's so much like resonance and vibration, especially in the lower notes, that you have to crank with confidence and you have to press those keys with confidence. And if you don't, it doesn't sound very good. Um, so I want to practice more so that way I can be more confident in giving you appropriate sound samples of this Gertie because it's pretty cool and like, I really want to do it justice. Alucard here, that's what I named him, I named him Alucard. Um, he's going to go to a new home, probably in a few months. I want to hang on to him for a little while so I can have something to practice with. Um, but I'm really excited. I think this next one's going to be a lot of fun. This is a war machine of a Gertie. <laughs> it is powerful. And it's so much fun. It's so fun. So I'm gonna go play with it and hopefully get a little better so I can record some more tunes for you guys to enjoy in the meantime. So thanks for watching.